in terms of the partnership between TTSA and the government, there was, I didn't actually see this, but according to my friend, Mick West, he says, JJ Abrams, UFO documentary, episode three suggests TTSA might be part of a government disinformation program. That's what I signed up for. I was like, how do I lie to my friends and my family? (laughs) Can I I just comment on that? First of all, you know, that's, that's rather insulting. It's insulting, you know, not only to me and, you know, and all the people that work for the government, what have you, you can't have a disinformation program in the government. It, it, it's, it's illegal. You can't do that. Um, I wouldn't do that personally. I mean, I, I, that's, that's, that's terrible. And, and, you know, you cannot influence the population of the United States. You, government, governments can't do that. It's called an operation and you can't have that. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's not, we, we, we don't do that. And um, uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I, it's one of the reasons I don't like going on shows uh, because when people come up with these questions, you know, you sort of sit there and you look at them and say, well, if you really knew how the government worked, <laughs> um, you know, when, when I was in CIA, I mean, uh, you know, when I was in the senior service and at one point I was running rather large programs, I had lawyers all around me. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't make a decision without making sure that you were right on the money. And we, CIA in particular, it's a great organization. I mean, made, made a lot of mistakes in the past, but by and large, it's a very, very straight laced organization. You do not do anything. Uh, that would in any way harm a U.S. citizen or uh, or uh, or the population in general. Mm-hmm. So that's a, uh, that's bogus. Yeah, no, okay, I, I appreciate that so much. And and believe me, you know, no one has more respect that didn't serve at least than me. I mean, my my and my I like Nick Webb, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, but I think but I do want to say, yeah. you know, I mean, one thing just to criticize um, the government that I do love and support, and it's the best country on earth. I'll say that. Uh, except maybe Canada, Kurt's going to speak up <laughs> about the, the 51st state to the north up there. But anyway, uh, in all seriousness, you know, I look at COVID-19 and I look at, you know, the trillions of dollars that go from our you know, 16% of our entire budget goes to the military, CIA, FBI, all these NSA. We didn't, I remember going to dinner in 2020, in January, 2020, my friend had told me, you just got an invitation to go to China. Are you going to go, Brian? I said, I don't know. And he said, you shouldn't go because China's building this hospital slash prison. They're going to start locking people in because this thing called COVID. I said, okay, well, I'll keep my eye on it. I'm not going to go to, I'm not in a rush to go to Tibet anyway. I'd love to go someday. But, uh, but they knew about it. My friend at dinner knew about it. In other words, Jim, and trillions of dollars of, 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 and the countless lives that were lost, precious individual lives lost in America. Because, you know, and you think with this huge apparatus, uh, that they'd be capable of doing something, preventing something. And I don't want to get into politics. I, I hate politics. And that's why I'm an astronomer, because there's no Democratic comet. There's no Republican right. asteroid. Right. So talk about the government. Like, could they do could they cover up something like this? Could they do it malevolently? As you're saying, the CIA is basically let's just call it what it is. You're saying they're they're comprised of good people, good men and women, honest patriots. Um, how come they weren't on top of something like covid, which was you know known to my dinner party guests? Well, uh, you know, uh, let me just say this. Uh, the, the last 10 years, I consulted with the intelligence community and I was working on uh, counter biological weapons. Uh, mm. And one of the uh, corollaries to that was, you know, working on pandemics and talking about pandemics. I can't tell you how many meetings I sat in with the government from people that did nothing but talk about the coming pandemic. CIA has written intelligence assessments on it. So has DIA. Uh, I mean, almost every government agency has come out and warned people that this is going to be happening down the road. And it's just a question of uh, uh, when. But the problem with this is um, nobody listens. The government does not listen. The Congress doesn't listen. And the Senate doesn't listen until it happens. And when it happens, they jump up in the air, start pointing fingers. It's, it's a shame. It really, truly is. 9-11 was the same way. We were screaming, you know, bloody murder about, uh, you know, uh, about Osama bin Laden. This is, this is what's going to happen. And we think this is going to happen soon. And people just look at it and, you know, say, well, I don't really believe it could happen. Right. But um, no, in, in many, I mean, there are a lot of times where the intelligence community fails, but, uh, but a lot of these, no, we were not. We were right on top of all this early on, mm. but nobody wanted to spend money, billions mm. of dollars creating uh, say a a, a, a a you know a, a vaccine that that could you know help you know something when when there wasn't one when there wasn't a when there wasn't a pathogen out there yet so and you know the government budgets I mean I, we can have a whole program on on government budgets <laughs> and how money is spent and it's right. usually spent on quarterly things the things that you absolutely have to do so anything that's looking in the future like UAPs by the way 
-hmm. you know, low probability, high impact events like that, they don't get the kind of attention they deserve. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. You want to ask uh, uh, some of your viewers' questions? Yeah, well, about the government not participating in disinformation, I'm curious. There's MK Ultra, Project Mockingbird, or Operation Mockingbird, and Project Blue Book, and quite a few others. So what do you make of that? And also, even if it is illegal, it's not as if the government hasn't done what's illegal before. Oh, no, no, the government has... <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I, I'm not making excuses for the government. I mean, the government ha, ha, has done some terrible things. It wasn't until 1976, for instance, when the CIA was was held held accountable. Is really when all that stopped. When MK Ultra came out, and 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 um, uh, I can't remember the name of the commission, but it was uh, Gerald Ford was running it, and uh, uh, it uh, actually gave presentations on it. I don't know why it's slipping my mind right now, but but essentially. Ramparts magazine had a big article on this, and and the and the intelligence community just changed right there. I mean, as, you know, MK Ultra was a program. You know, they were experimenting with you know with with hallucinogenics because they thought they could control people's minds because they knew that the Russians were experimenting with it, so they were doing it. It was a terrible, terrible program, um, and it was an awful program. People died. But, you know, and then they burned all the files. So we don't know what the hell happened. Um, um, and and this, this has gone on through, you know, throughout the government in the very beginnings. But as the government gets older and as we learn from these mistakes, things really do get better. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, when you look at like the Condon report, that was a, it was a total whitewash, total whitewash. And, and they basically came out and said, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna make fun of people who believe in UAPs and UFOs and all this kind of stuff, and that was all. They shouldn't have done that, uh, and it was actually one of the reasons why a lot of us in this these unofficial government workers decided we're gonna go out. We're, we, we're gonna take this private, and I we told the highest levels of government that's what we're gonna be doing because they can't seem to get this out. I don't know why. I've had talks with them, but they can't get it out. And none of them had any issues with us doing this. They didn't have any issues with Tom. I mean, it was just go ahead, go ahead and keep us posted if you want, you know, and we do, uh, Mm -hmm. we do. And and if we ever come across information, we'll share it with them. Um, You know, we're not anti-government by any stretch of the imagination, but we certainly don't shill for them and we certainly don't work for them.